downtown metropolis, Batman and Superman has stumbled upon Patient Zero. We discover that this infected individual is a LexCorp research pathologist named Dr. Armin Icarus. The doctor witnesses Superman's heat vision and evolved that ability which he uses to blast the two heroes. Shortly after, because of Superman's flight powers, the doctor grows a pair of wings and flies away. Across town, Lex Luthor informs his worried sister that he has everything under control. He explains how metahumans are a major threat to personal safety in North America and that no jail could ever hold them for long. These escaped metahuman convicts would go on and continue their criminal activities. There has to be a hero to defend the weak and defensiveless. It isn't the Justice League, it is himself, Lex Luthor. But Lena Luthor knows her older brother well. She knows when he is lying. She demands the truth as to why he created the virus, but her questions fall upon deaf ears as Lex kisses her on the forehead and makes his way to the exit doors where Captain Cold is waiting. Cold inadvertently accuses Lex of the virus and all of the chaos it has wreaked which results in Luther grabbing Cold and putting him into his place. Captain Cold works for Luther, not the other way around, and snarky comments like that will not go unnoticed. Suddenly, a violent explosion blows Cold and Luther unconscious. A new mercenary named Bullet is here to pick up the bounty on Luther's head. Before anyone could recover, this new mercenary aims his firearm at Luther's head and takes a shot. During their pursuit, Batman and Superman manages to track Patient Zero to an abandoned building. Without notice, Patient Zero appears out of the shadows and attacks. Luckily for our heroes, Wonder Woman was hot on Patient Zero's trails and finally manages to chase him down. The two goes at it, with Superman flying in to help. During the chaos, Batman gets blasted by Patient Zero's heat vision. After shaking the cobwebs from his head, the Dark Knight discovers that he has now been exposed to the virus. What's going on guys, welcome to Comic Island! My name is Joey and today we are reviewing and recapping the Justice League issue 37. Okay, first off, I just wanted to say that I am extremely late in reviewing this issue. I think it's been a month or so and I only discovered that it was released by noticing a thumbnail of another YouTuber reviewing it. So that being said, let's jump right into my extremely late review of Justice League issue 37. <laughs> Okay, so much like last issue, I love the overall feel of this new story arc. The dialogue is done very well. My absolute favorite is the beginning intro where Batman briefly explains what's going on. We get to see images of all flights being cancelled and people running in deep fear. And then on the next page, we jump right back in the action where we see Batman and Superman squaring off with Patient Zero. So you guys remember that Amazo android from back in the Justice League Unlimited TV series? Whatever power he sees, he learns. Let's say he watches Superman flies, he then learns to defy gravity. But then this Amazo virus exists more in the realm of believable science fiction. I know, I'm going a little nuts for saying that. <laughs> I love the attention to detail when Patient Zero couldn't just defy gravity like Superman, but rather, he grows wings to do so. But then, now I wonder what other powers does this Patient Zero have? Alrighty, so this issue continues the trend of giving us the runaround on Lex Luthor's true intentions. On one side, we can make arguments that Luthor has turned over a new leaf and has gone hero. He proves this by snapping at Captain Cold. But then his sister Lena Luthor has said that there is something going on since she knows her brother so well. DC is playing a very interesting game by changing a well-beloved villain into a hero. I personally wouldn't want Luthor to go all heroic. He is one of the best villains in Superman's rogues galleries and I don't ever want to see that change. Right now, you got the distress amongst the team and we are led to believe that Luther has something up his sleeves, but the question is, is he a changed man? Or is he still a diabolical villain much like his pre-New 52 counterpart? So that's my question for you. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Oh and by the way, let's take a look at the cover art for this issue. This is one of my minor pet peeves where the cover art is very misleading. Take a look at the image. I would expect to see Superman going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs by attacking Luther, with Batman and Wonder Woman being the voice of reason. Obviously given Luther and Superman's history, I could see that happening. But then Luther and Superman never even meet in this issue, so I was quite disappointed in that. So for all of you Justice League fans, I'll start making more of an effort to stay on top of release dates for DC Comics so this won't happen again and you guys can get your Justice League fix a whole lot sooner. 
If it is out and you want to give me a friendly reminder in the comments, then please don't be shy. Leave me a message. It shows me that you guys still want more Justice League from Comic Island. So I hope you enjoyed my review of the Justice League issue 37. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in Justice League issue 38.